Hey, collective. It's your girl, Stacy. Whew, I'm here to do an energy read. Uh, remember that time is fluid. So whenever you see this message, just when you're meant to see it. It's a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone, so please let me take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm laughing, y'all, because, like, I was led to this reading step by step. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I'm literally, I had to do research before I could even do it. And then after I'd done the research, it took the notes, right, to figure out what I was getting, the information. And then it was like, I was led to the deck because they showed me an image of one of the cards. And I'm like, I got that deck. You know what I'm saying? And here we are. So, y'all, we finna get an ancestor message because this is the deck that the card is in. <laughs> I checked, I looked, I found it. I'm like, well, this is it then. So, I'm like, wow, that's crazy to me. <laughs> but it's, you know, it is what it is. So, remember that uh, time is fluid. So, whenever you see this message, it's when you're meant to see it. It's a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. So, please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Child, listen, this is, um, I'm just going to say it, that's like I was, I was say. So, the first download I got was a totem pole, right? We know, we've seen totem poles, we grew up, you know, Native American totem poles, you know, the class, family lineage, however it's done, wh whoever, whatever tribe did it, you know, they did it in specific order and stuff like that. Order in ranking, like in your family lineage, okay? Because I researched it and I made notes and I got right here, <laughs> okay? But anyway, so in um in our culture, you know how how it was how it was brought about for us. It was meant to to uh, say that this is somebody that was the lowest person. In the family, you know what I'm saying? The lowest class of person, the least important person, the least useful person, okay? In a tri in a tribe, you know, a hierarchy in the family. So, basically, you were the bottom of the totem pole. You're the least, you know, you know, the how you say when you're, when you're doing your, the class, the yearbook, it's like least, uh, least favorable to... To graduate or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? The least, the least person to get their shit together. You know what I'm saying? Just the one that just that can't do right. You right? You hear me? <clears throat> so I Googled it, of course. Just so, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I know what I'm associating with. You see, it has two meanings. The other meaning is the lowest figure on the totem poles are considered the most prestigious. Boom, blew my mind. <laughs> you know it did, right? <laughs> what? Now this is in Native American culture, okay? Not North American culture. Not 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 that American culture. This is the Native American culture that the lowest person on the totem pole is the most prestigious person. Mm. Now how can that be? Of course I can. <laughs> All right, so I have looked further in and it's like the designs on the bottom are the ones that will be seen at eye level, after all. So, the bottom of the totem pole, and it's like, in our culture, the bottom of the totem pole, we're the ones, oh, damn, we're the, <laughs> we're the ones, because I feel like that. I have felt like that, you know what I'm saying? It's all good. You know, it really is all good now. <laughs> but anyway, um... So, shoot, Stacey, come on, get out your feelings, get out your emotions, come back, come back, come back. All right, so we're the ones that always had the spotlight on us, we was talked about, we was um, scapegoated, we was the blame of all kind of shit going on, even when we wasn't. But it just made sense since you're the one that's out here that's rebellious, that's doing things your own way, you're the one that can't get your life together, you know what I'm saying? You're the... You know, the crazy one, the bad one, the one that always be in jail. You know who I'm talking about. Talk about you, the black sheep. Okay. Okay. So they are usually carved by the master. Hang on. I heard that. The low man on the totem pole is usually carved by the master. Hello. While the apprentices work on the higher, uh, Images. I was all set with that. 
I was all set with that. And that's all I got. But anyway, I said that to say this. God had a purpose in your life the whole time. Now, if you're, um, if you're, if you're familiar with tribes, you know, Native American tribes and how totem poles work, then I hope I am representing this correctly because this is just, you know, condensed information. But anyway, I'm, you know, I'm not trying to, uh, by any way, because I know that's my, my, my lineage as well, you know, but anyway, so yeah, so you were the low man on the totem pole by North American standards, okay? You were the one that was not important, you know what I'm saying? You were the one that if we had to cut off a piece of our flower, you would be the one that got cut. But let me tell you something before I even get into this, another another thing I got, right? With that it with that same information that I just gave you about the totem pole and where people thought you were, okay? So, within families you know what I'm saying? There's those that you see that thrive. You know what I'm saying? They have the, the good jobs, the money, the marriage, work in the house, and the cars. They could be buying part. You know, you got those. And then you got, you know, the offspring of those. And then you got siblings. And then you got the siblings that some are doing well, some are doing so, so. And then and then you got those on the bottom that, you know, are rebellious, the ones that can't get right. you all always been the problem kid. Get kicked out of school, get suspended. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Just like the class clown, so to speak. Anyway, so with this being said, this was um, another uh, download I got. It was about sibling rivalry. Now, whether this was your sibling or just somebody that felt like they were higher than you on the totem pole. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? All right. Somebody felt like they were higher than you on the totem pole. So, um... I feel like when the low man on the totem pole um, started to make changes in their life, okay, started to elevate the person above them, okay, I I heard it, this is, you know, you got the liars, you got the thieves, you got the, um, the uh the, the drug addicts you know and there's a there's a limit now now the the addict is always at the bottom of the of the totem pole I don't give a shit what it is because you really don't give a fuck about yourself okay I'm not just I'm giving it to your Frank right the thief is all right because see everything they have they steal and everybody seems to be impressed ah because you know what because the thief will go out and get try to make everybody happy with their little spoils you hear me then you got the the married couples, you know what I'm saying? But what you know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all understand what I'm saying? You got that auntie, you know, uncle that they got money, and every time they come, they always look fly. They always got a nice car, you know what I'm saying? You got that cousin that worked for the post office, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, or the cop, or the ones that work construction, they got steady jobs. You know, you can't really say that to them. They making their money, right? You know what? I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Y'all get the gist of it. Well, let me tell you something. The bottom man on the totem pole started to come up, started to look good, started to elevate themselves. Oh, shit. Now somebody going to be dropped down, right? That's what that is, right? Somebody finna get dropped down, right? <laughs> so this person, I'm, 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 I'm just trying to condense it all so I can get into the cards because I swear I would, but I said I would give it to you. All right, this person sabotaged the low man on the totem pole because... Damn, if if this person starts to elevate, if this person is doing better than me, then I'm going to be the low man on the totem pole because, see, I really ain't doing shit. All I know is if as long as I wasn't doing crack, right, that I was going to keep looking good, that I was going to always be above the addict. The addict stopped getting high. The addict started getting their life together. The addict started elevating themselves. So that means a thief, which is just above the addict, Oh, no. I'm going to have to steal that joy from you. I'm going to have to bring you back down here so I can stay where I'm at. Because, see, all I know is stealing. All I know is trying to people please. I don't know how to take care of myself. I don't know how to elevate myself like you doing. Now, what I'm doing looks like the dirty, dumb shit because you done stopped doing what you was doing. You done elevated yourself. Do you hear what I'm saying? Somebody sabotaged somebody, brought them back down. 
put them back in added status. You hear me? So that they could have that position. But see, that position was supposed to be that addict's position because that addict had earned that position. Or was on the way to earning that position. But that was stopped. Good. Take that how it resonates. Somebody didn't feel like you were supposed to elevate. See, this is what this is what the universe was doing. This is what God had already planned. This was already written. Do you hear me? By the ancestors. The masters had already put that, that bottom piece together. That master already knew that bottom piece was going to be at eye level and people was going to see him. You hear me? Come on, spirit. The master carved that bottom piece. Mm-hmm. And when it was time for that person to be elevated to their position, they would, you know, they were stopped. They were manipulated out of it. They were disillusioned. They were uh, fed false information. They stole somebody's joy. Well, they can't technically steal it because you have to be in a mind frame to understand what somebody's doing to you when they're doing it. What well, we got? Peacekeeper. Mm. And somebody, and you know what? We know what this peacekeeper tells me? That they knew. They knew. They knew what this person did. They know that this person sabotaged their relationship so that they could look like they were better than them and sent them spiraling back into those addictions because that's what it was. They know that, but this person hasn't said that because you know why? Because they want to keep the peace. Because they want to keep the peace. Wow. That's on the bottom. Explorer. Yeah. And that's your nature to keep the peace. That's why you were put in that bottom position because God knew that you could keep the peace. Now, how this is going to play out, I don't know. Okay? But when you, if, you're, if you're still in this energy of, you know, just accepting what somebody else has, has um, guided you towards... To a failure, 1221, mirroring. Who come on, spirit? Um, I feel like spirit is telling you that uh, you have an anointing, you have a calling on your life that was already destined. So don't sit down there and just let somebody. Did, didn't I just do a reading about somebody taking somebody's cup? Hmm. The designs on the bottom are the ones that will be seen at eye level. And let me tell you something else. Let me tell you something else, too. If you have backtracked, that's by design as well. You see, when God bring, pulls you back up again, all right, because things are going to be dealt with. Things will be balanced out. Whatever, whatever injustice, injustice or un, you know, unjust thing that was done will be righted because it's already written. Can't nobody change positions with you. You know what I mean? Spirit, what's this message? Because, see, they thought you was the least important person in the room. But, see, God was already mastering you. God was already molding you. God was, you know, the master, whoever the artist is, they were already, you were already there. You know, they were already carving you out. The master was working on you. And it started to show. They got a glimpse of what the master was doing. They had to stop it. They had to stop it. They seen what the master was doing. They had to stop it. They all by any means necessary. They didn't want to take their, their rightful positions. Okay. And, and I'm going to say. Hmm. Hmm. Who we got father here. Authority, Father, <laughs> come on, Spirit, Communicator. I cannot make it up. This is direct from Father. This is the authority. Look, He's the one that guides you. He's the master builder. So, somebody, somebody interfered in something that God had already ordained. Hmm. Wow. Let's get some tarot. Mm-hmm. Somebody was interfering what God had had planned for somebody's life, you know? They di they they distracted them. 
They they led them astray. They led them off the path. You know what I'm saying? They they enticed somebody with their with their uh, vices. And if you're an addict, you already know money, property, and prestige. Those are big ones for us. You know what I mean? Taking our eyes off of us and and wanting to dress up the outside, want to look good, want to. Who's it's like it's ooh, mm, 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 mm. somebody promised somebody that they was gonna be in a position that oh come on spirit come on spirit somebody promised them that they were gonna be equal to them. Look at that they was they promised them that they would be equal to them, but the truth was they was gonna be better than them. Mm mm mm. And all they really wanted to, right, was to move up, right? So at least if I can be equal, they took the, you know, if somebody, somebody, ooh, somebody robbed somebody, somebody plays, somebody didn't know they worth. There it is. Somebody didn't know they worth. If you, if you separate yourself from over there, you can be equal to me. But when reality, they pulled them away because 1616, because they was going to be better than them. Come on, spirit. Somebody got taken for a fool. All right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And, and the thing is, the person that got bamboozled, they know. They know what this person did. They know that this person was jealous of them. They know that. Jealous and scared, afraid that this person was going to surpass them. You know what I mean? Because what skill did they really have? Because I told you it's the addict and then the thief. All they know how to do is steal. But God forbid the addict stop being an addict and their true colors and their true design starts to shine. Ooh-wee. That makes me look small as shit. Hmm. I got to snap. I got to stop that. Come on. Ooh. Look at what did I see. I seen the picture. I seen the, the star in reverse. I know what I seen. They didn't want somebody to heal. They didn't want somebody to be connected. This communication with God. You hear me? They didn't want that person to heal. To grow. To elevate. They didn't want that to happen. They didn't want that person to have this new beginning. Mm-mm. Oh, no. But see, justice is here. Justice is here. Spirit, what's this message? <laughs> Spirit said, you are the head and not the tail. Ooh, come on now. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. And somebody's just keeping the peace, not saying anything. Because, you know, when it, with truth be told, if they weren't acting out of greed, right, it wouldn't have happened. Come on, let's tell the truth and shame the devil, right? If they weren't acting out of greed and selfishness, that wouldn't have happened. But see, that was a lesson they had to learn. That's why they can't say that because they know they was the fool. They took that leap of faith too because their intention okay, was not to wait on God, but was to take their matters into their own hand to rush the situation. And what they got was half. They didn't even get half because they was promised half. You hear me? They was promised to be somebody's equal. When they, when if they had waited for God, they would have been on top of them. So I'm just saying. I'm just saying. They tried to sneak and do the back door. They wanted the quick. They wanted the quick. They was promised. See, it was like this. It was like if I can be halfway, at least I'm not on the bottom. At least, at least I don't look like I'm on the bottom no more. See, somebody accepted less. They sacrificed. They, yeah, that's what they did. They just, they, they took breadcrumbs. You know what I mean? They settled. Mm, come on, spirit. They settled. Mm -hmm. And they know they was bamboozled. They know. They know. Because when they look back and they see what they had, they realized that that was the prize. They had the prize. They knew that if they stuck with where they was at, that they was going to be above whoever this is that they wanted to make them their equal. Hmm. You could be just like me. Why you want to be just like them? Remember, they're a thief. <laughs> but I guess that was appealing because, see, what they were stealing was, was 
just to dress up the outside. Inside, they were damaged. They were damaged. They weren't doing any work. They weren't trying to elevate themselves. They weren't trying to... Well, you know what? All they wanted to was to se secure their position. And their position was on top of your head. As long as they were on top of your head, they was good right there. Hmm. Spirit, what's this message? <laughs> mm -hmm. I think my deck is open. Oh, no, no. Leave it alone, Spirit. So leave it as is. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So now what's happening, Spirit? What's, what's going on here? Because... Spirit, what's this message? Mm-mm-mm. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Mm. Peacekeeper. And the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Losing, nothing working out, uh, no interest. Wow, somebody could feel real stagnant right now. Like, I'm almost getting like a depressive kind of energy. Not really wanting to work, not really wanting to do anything, not feeling motivated to, to live life, you know what I mean? Almost like somebody's just like settled in a sunken place. As if that's what they deserve. You know what I mean? That kind of energy. Hmm. Not really saying anything. Still holding on to the uh, the guilt of the choice that they made, right? The choice that they made cost them everything. It's not even... It's like they can blame the other person for the the, the, the um, betrayal and the, and the deceit. But then they had to look inside too and see why were they so eager to take that, that option. Because there was something, there, their intentions. What was your in, integrity? You wanted something. You were promised something. You saw something shiny and somebody told you that you could share it at 2211. You know? Mm -mm. Look. It didn't work. But they promised you that you could be a king, a king or a queen of pentacles. That you would be stable. You have all the nice things and... You know, a little money to burn. You wouldn't have to. You, you ain't got to work for nothing. We'll just steal it. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. Spirit, what's this message? Mm. Ten of cups in reverse. No wish fulfillment. Somebody's very much so unhappy and sad and depressed. Look. Mm, mm, mm. Trying to figure out what direction do they go in now. Mm, mm, mm. That's so sad. Look. They the ones. In reverse. Don't know which way to go. <laughs> Can't move. <coughs> Excuse me. <y 'all. clears throat> Can't move, you know. It's like. Like you don't have any kind of direction. You like. Like you know how you just. You've been doing the same thing for so long, and it's like, for that, like, it's no longer an option. What do you do? Where do you go? Because you, you're you like, you planted all your seeds in one pot, you know, or one hole. Put all your eggs in one basket, you know what I mean? You, Yeah, and somebody put all their eggs in the wrong basket, and somebody else, ooh, they let somebody else carry the basket, and they took the whole damn basket. You hear me? Let me say something else, right? Let me say something else I got. Now, also I got today, I, I, I you know, because I was so focused on what I, we were talking about. Um, I'm also, I also heard that the person that tricked you out of your, your Easter basket, they lost the basket as well. They don't have the basket anymore either. They don't have your eggs or their eggs. You hear me? They don't have your eggs or their eggs. 24, 24 when I said that. And another thing is, is our spirit wants you to be cautious about being around this person because now that this person has lost all of it, right? Everything, everything that they 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 bribed you out of, they tricked you out of, they lost it all. You hear me? So now they want to come back and sabotage you a second time. I'm gonna tell you how, right? Because they know that you can possibly salvage you, your eggs 
You hear me? You could possibly be, get your eggs back. But listen, they can't get theirs back, and they ain't having that either. Be careful who you got around you. If, they, if you know that this person stole your shit the first time, don't trust this person. This person is trying to sabotage you. Make sure you don't get another basket because, see, they know this karma for their ass, losing all of it. That's that for that. Listen, get away from this person. This person done lost it all. Mm -hmm. And theirs ain't coming back. They can't get it back. And you know why? Because first and foremost, they took it from you. They lied to you. They told you that they were going to share the wealth with you, and they did not. They took it all. Whatever that meant, spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that, but if somebody feels real guilty because they know they gave up. They ten of cups for an illusion. You hear me? Mm -hmm. That's why they feel sick to the stomach and can't sleep at night because they know their greed cost them. It wasn't the person that offered them the fake cup. Hmm. The phony new beginning. Look at this. Have to go back and relearn that lesson. Ain't no forward movement here stuck in your tracks. Everything shut down. All that partying and excitement and you know what I'm saying? And laughter, all that's over. It's over. Look. Seven of Wands, unprotected. Vulnerable. Learning the lesson. Come on, spirit. Queen of Swords. Hmm. Hmm. Page of Wands in reverse. A liar. Somebody was a liar. This person spun a web so damn thick to catch who? To catch you up? To make you slow down and stop your progress? So that you wouldn't elevate above them. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yes, they did. Mm-hmm. So that you couldn't complete, you know, your your cycle and move on because that's what you were doing. This person saw that. If you didn't see it, I'm going to tell you why you didn't see it. Because they seen it. Everybody around you seen it. But your insecurities allowed you to let them bring up that past shit to, to remind you of where you coming from. Oh, you ain't never going to get right. Maybe you couldn't get right for a long time, but here, but here you was. Somebody reminded you. Somebody wanted to make sure, you know, in this, in this, you know, this is why, this is why God going to tear that ass up, right? It's because they tricked you. They used your weaknesses. They triggered you. You know, you can take some, you got to take most of the credit because, you know, you still make the choice because, of, you know, whatever it is you was trying to move away from, it didn't chase you, you was chasing it. Somebody just made it look shiny. Somebody made it look good. Somebody made it look like if you let go of what is helping you to grow, to that is freeing you because whose spirit, they wanted you to be in the lock and chain. You ain't going nowhere, so I don't have to do nothing. So I can keep looking good. You got to stay looking bad. Come on now. Mm, the bird spirit. What's this message? Mm -hmm. That's the truth. That's the truth. That's the truth. <laughs> now somebody's getting it. You know? The hermit. Yes. Yes, yeah. Now they know why there's no forward movement for them. They know why. Somebody needs to speak up for themselves as well. Yeah. But I feel like it's going to happen anyway because it was designed that way. You can't change anybody's destiny. You may slow it up. You may divert somebody. They may have to take a detour. Yeah. But it's going to happen. This lifetime or the next. And if you got in the way of anything that God, the master builder, was trying to, to erect, child please, whether this lifetime or the next one, <laughs> you, when, when you destroy something that God is building, let me tell you, right, what you're building is not going to stand. 
You must know that, right? You must, even if you don't believe in God, you got to believe in the law of attraction of the universe. You got to believe it. You know, if you throw a penny up in the air, it's coming back down, don't you? <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm done. I just wanted to share that with y'all. I'll see you.